Hey, hey, happy day way back when, after the fall of the Alamo and subsequent uh, victory by Sam Houston, Santa Ana, the president of Mexico, oh, he was shipped away and he was exiled to Cuba. And while there, he invented chewing gum. Got a patent on it and everything, can you believe it? He ended up selling it to Wrigley's. And, and now I want to tell you the rest of the story. When Wrigley's bought it, they transported all the gum by train in the U.S. of A and liberals. They thought it was, you know, bubble gum. And so they said, hey, here comes a choo-choo train. And the liberals, they've been off track ever since. Hey, just sharing with you. CNN, they've been hemorrhaging viewers ever since President Trump has no longer been president. Because you know what? But all those liberals, they like nothing better than to listen to that nonsense that the CNN and other stations like them were spewing all of the time. Most of it wasn't true. Most of it had no basis of any fact. But, but yet they liked it. It's like a big gossip monger session, right? And it was going on and on for the longest time and all of a sudden it's over and now half of their viewers are gone, which of course probably would translate to half of their revenue, certainly half of their advertisers. Because you know what? It's, they're a bunch of half-wits anyway, just say it. In California, Burbank. At Burbank, there's a restaurant there called Tin Horn Flats, and they say, we are not closing down because of COVID. You people can't do that. It's freedom. Ah. But the government came along and said, we're not successful here. We're losing here. We're going to cut your power off. So they did. They cut the power off, and the owners of Tin Horn Flats, they went out and got a bunch of generators, and they're still serving food. <laughs> Interesting day. And here's something that, that is nothing new. In fact, it's the old stuff. I mean, the, the royalty, the elites of the world, right? Lawmakers say, yeah, all got to wear a mask. Climate change is upon us, so we got to pay money to fix it, and the cha-cha. And then you got climate czar, John Kerry. Remember him? He ran for president one time, and he's a government guy. In fact, I think his wife is married or part of, rather, the Heinz Ketchup fortune. She's a Harris, and on and on. Back to this. Too much information. So what does he do? He goes to get an award a couple of years ago. He gets in his private jet. And the award... It is for climate leadership, right? <laughs> you can't make this up. Ah. Unfortunately, it's it's uh, regular stuff. I mean, because people like him are always doing this. Roles are for us, for the peasants of the world, not for the the rulers of the world. Now to be him. Recently, he was flying commercial, and he was in the first class section, and he didn't have a mask on, and everybody else had to wear a mask. But again, he's the boss, right? I mean, oh boy. The Conservative Party of Canada, recently they tweeted what was supposed to be an attack on the uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party. But but they're mixed up, you know, like a dog's breakfast. Wow, and these people want to wear the country. Why, firstly, what are you doing? Fighting. Why, why, why are you doing attack ads? Why don't you tell the people, the humanoids of Canada, what you can do that's better than the Liberals? Free enterprise stuff, yeah, like, I don't know, fixed dates and term limits and, and a whole bunch of things. I mean, there's no limit to what, to what, and freedom, freedom to defend your life. And oh, there's such a long list. It would take hours to go through it, right? But they don't talk about that. They want to tell you how bad the other people are. But they're the same. But in any event, this backfired on them. Here's what they did. This is the ad. Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are more worried about saving Canadian jobs than their own. <laughs> upside down huh? oh boy somebody needs to kind of vet what they're doing vet their work and and then of course they send emails all of the time give us money donate money so we can advertise and <laughs> they can advertise but they're helping the other side and at their convention is just going on in I, I don't know it was a virtual convention I mean the, the signage looked wrong because it the sign said conservative but all the content that I heard it was all liberal I mean I, it's like they were all at the wrong convention the conservative Conservative Party of Canada, you know what? They're supposed to be central, a center com company party, right? but, but you know, they're into self-sabotage and they're not conservative in any way, shape or form. The approval rating uh, for the uh, prime mistake in Canada right now, I don't believe these numbers, by the way. I, I would really like to think the Canadians aren't that stupid, but, but here's, here's the drill. 50, I, I think these numbers are put into play so to influence people, to influence their behavior, right? And, and it's done improperly by the left because they own the media. Anyway, 56% of all Canadians apparently love Trudeau and, and uh, women, 60%. Are you kidding me? Canadians age 18 to 34, 67. 
Uh, here, here's where it really gets crazy. Apparently, 40% of all Canadians think that Trudeau is the best person to lead the country, right? I don't think he can lead a barbecue properly. O'Toole, he's a very distant second. 15% of Canadians think that he would be a good prime minister. And, and this is a party that continues to do the same thing the same way all of the time. Now he's saying he'd be an O'Toole. Foreign aid, we're not going to cut. We're going to be globalists. We're going to give money to other countries. Clean up your own back. You are, right? I mean, we cannot stay silent. I wish you would. It's time. You know, the, the term speak freely. Have you heard that? I'm having a meeting with you. With, May I speak freely? It's, that's more military, but of course, speak freely. But you know what? It's a great concept. Speaking freely. Let's all work on that. And, and to do that, you have to have right wingism because the war is us against stupidism. Hey. Okay. Sounds silly, but that is the way it is. Y'all come back. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.